there's another Blastete going and you're very welcome. You know, I've been doing a lot of work on stories and what stories do and how they do it and why they, what they do is so important. And I'm bringing all those elements together for something very powerful. And I will talk about it very soon. So a beautiful old Celtic story comes from the Tuatha de Danann. Now, they are one of the races that came to live in Ireland and they're still here. And when they arrived, the Fomorians were here and there was a big battle, of course. And the king of the Tuatha de Danann, Nuada, lost his arm. One of the rules of the Tuatha de Danann was the king could not have a blemish, could not have an injury. So without his arm, he had to relinquish the kingship. That's another story. So Gibnu, the great blacksmith of the Tuatha de Danann, created a beautiful silver arm that could work perfectly as a human arm, but still Nuada couldn't be king because of the blemish. Now Dan Kirt was one of the healing druids and he had a son, Mayak. And Mayak went about and he found a way to regrow the arm on Nuada. So Nuada had his arm back and he was able to regain the kingship and they lived happily ever after. Except Dan Kirt became really jealous of his son who could do this. And he became so enraged that he, he struck him in the neck with a sword and gashed him. And Mayak was able to cure himself. He was able to heal because remember he could grow back an arm, he could fix the neck. And the next time the father went at him again with the sword and cut into the spinal column. And Mayak was still able to fix the injury. But the third time his father Dan Kirt went at him again with the sword and cut the head right off. And whatever happened, there was no way that Mayak could cure himself. So Mayak was buried and his sister Aymer would tend his grave all the time. And what she saw happening was all these plants grew out of his body, but all these plants had medicinal healing purposes. So what grew from his eyes were to heal the eyes, what grew from the ears were to heal the ears, what grew from the hands were to cure the hands, what cure from every different organ was able to cure every different organ. So she got her shawl and she laid out all these plants and, and made a kind of a pseudo body on the shawl. So she had the healing power for every part of the body. And the father came along and again, he would not be beaten. He would not see his son best him. And he caught her shawl and flung it to the four winds. And all the plants are out there. And it's an interesting story because it, it kind of tells that power struggle between parents and children. Uh, one of the first stories I ever created was about spring taking over from winter, which was a, a really successful puppet show. And I've written it up as a story now. And it is that power struggle between parents and children. When does the parent relinquish power to the child? When does the child take the power from the parent? It's always going on. And it's very sad that Mayak lost this power struggle. But it also shows the, the cleverness of the Celts to create the story and to say that all these healing plants are out there. All you have to do is find them. Slán anish agus gurev fad. Thank you ever so much. I'm getting lovely comments about the videos and it's great.